All right, so now we're looking at installing the wiring for the winch that's on the lift frame of the ground force system. So before we do that, why don't we explain what everything does, what the components are, what everything does. So we'll start out with, here's the winch, of course, and the motor that, that drives the winch. And then we've got a couple wires here that go to two quick disconnects. Those quick disconnects allow you to remove the lift frame uh, from the machine after all the wiring is installed in the machine. And then we've got wiring that goes from the quick disconnects to the solenoid. The solenoid is the brains of the, the system. Um, over here we see there's a connector that goes to the, the thumb switch that controls the winch, um, driving it in and out. And then lastly we've got wiring that goes from the solenoid to the battery on the far end. And one of the things that um, you need to understand is that there are um, M's and B's on the solenoid. The M, um, negative and positive, go to the winch motor, and the, the B, positive and negative, go to the battery. So just to make sure everybody understands that. So now that we've identified the location of the solenoid already on your machine, um, for the, the winch that is on your machine, we need to see if maybe this would be a good place to mount the, the solenoid for the ground force system. Uh, from this side here, it looks like it's reasonably open. Um, but maybe we can see if we have any obstructions on the inside. So here are the mounting bolts for that existing solenoid and it looks like we don't have a lot of room to the right. We probably have plenty of room to the left and down to mount it if we want to. All right, so now that we've identified the location of the battery and where we ideally want to locate the solenoid, we need to see if the cable that's supposed to go between the battery and the solenoid is gonna be long enough. And in our instance here, it appears that we're gonna be short. So we've got a couple options. We can get an additional length of, of wire to reach to the solenoid, um, keeping the solenoid in that location. We can look for a different solenoid location that's closer to the battery. Uh, but then again, we gotta be aware of the wire length from the ground force winch um, that also needs to reach the solenoid. Um, and then we also need to keep in mind that we have the switch, the thumb switch, um, that needs to go to the solenoid as well. So I'm going to, I think what I'm going to do is remove this console and, uh, and see what our options are. All right, so after removing the console to see if there might be a better place to mount the, the solenoid for the, the ground force lift frame winch, other than the, uh, the firewall, really the only other option was this plate here. Um, don't want to mount it on the skid plate, that wouldn't be good. So the only p other possible spot would be here. Um, don't want to don't want to mount it under here anywhere, that would be really hard to get to. So it would be here and that really doesn't bias anything because even if, if, if we mount the solenoid there, um, we'd still need an extra length of, of uh, wire. The wires are four foot long, and we need more than four feet to go from here to the actual um, lift frame winch. So we did go ahead and mounted uh, the solenoid for the lift frame next to the, the solenoid for the machine winch. Um, wires were pulled down 
you can see their their run with uh, the wires from the other solenoid underneath the floor underneath the drive shaft uh, inside there back around to the battery so that all looks nice and tidy have everything zip tied as you can see and now if we go to the front you can see where the, the solenoid is mounted that looks nice and tidy um, the outside two connections go to um, the motor the inside two go to the battery so you can see the inside two they're going down along the frame um, and then we have the two going to the lift frame itself also going down along the frame along this frame here to a zip tie here and I've given myself um, plenty of plenty of length a little over a foot to be able to attach to um, the lift frame winch so the other thing that we did here's the here's the the wire for the the switch there's the the disconnect for the switch it went through the firewall through that top hole and then came through inside inside the dash and uh, mounted the switch here um, probably not the best spot uh, and the reason I did it like that for now is the the, the control the switch for the winch for this machine is a remote control which um, I plan on finding a, a replacement for the remote something similar to this that I came out ne come out next to it and I'll probably um, make up something where the two can be right next to one another to make it easy easier to control so that is that is uh, should be everything for the wiring of the the ground force system